So today I just want to make a short little video about hub centric rings. So the problem I'm having is that my front wheels are vibrating somewhere between 80 and 90 miles an hour. It's not much, um, but I don't think it's a balance issue. So uh, after taking the back wheels off and, and uh, putting those spacers on back there, I realized that there was no hub centric rings and there was, there was a pretty decent gap. So um, I went to discount tire and I got the right size rings and I'm going to put them on the front now and hopefully that, uh, that will solve the problem. So what we have here is uh, the hub centric rings. They go from 66 millimeter to 73. The 66 millimeter is the factory uh, Nissan size. This guy here is going to go in the end of my gun to prevent me from uh, over torquing it and then uh, a wire brush to clean everything off. We also have uh, a compressor with the gun and our trusty jack with the hockey puck. Okay, so the jack is in place, and if you've watched my previous videos, uh, get ready for the squeaks. I don't know if that showed up on a video, but you see when that last lug nut came out, how much the rim fell. So that's the gap that the uh, hub centric ring is going to make up for. Alright, so I had to uh, wait for the compressor to fill up again. And so while I was doing that, I was able to uh, clean the caliper off where I couldn't reach the other day when I, when I cleaned it. So let's just clean this off a little bit better. I'm also going to clean these off too here. Alright, well that was harder than it looked doing with one hand. <laughs> so I came back and did it with two hands to clean it up a little bit better. So now I got the hub centric ring and I'm going to try to snap it into place. These are kind of a pain sometimes. So while the wheel's off, I'm just taking a look around and uh, you know, I could definitely do some major detailing in here. It's just so freaking hot out, I'm not in the mood to do it right now. But uh, I also noticed the top of my caliper and also the bottom has a chip. I'm not sure how you do that, but it's chipped. So now I'm going to lower the car and then uh, I can get my torque wrench out. Alright, so the driver's side is done. 
I'm going to do the passenger side now. You guys don't need to see that, but uh, when I'm done with everything, we'll, uh, we'll go and take it for a spin. So the good thing about the passenger side is I'm going to put two fans on me because it's so freaking hot out, and uh, since I'm not recording, I don't have to worry about the sounds. So something interesting happened on this side. I was about halfway up, and all the pressure came out of the jack, and the car went back down on the ground. So never trust your jack. But uh, So I have a jack stand under it now just to make sure. It's not touching the jack stand. I just want to see if it's uh, holding. All right, guys, so we are done. I'm back in the car. Uh, the jack held, so I don't know what the problem was, but won't be trusting it anymore. Um, I'm looking for a road right now where I can see if we can get this car up to the speed where it was uh, vibrating before. guys well that was an unsuccessful uh, little operation today it got a little better but there's obviously uh, a balance issue so uh, we'll have to have that taken care of so we'll call this video a wrap for the day um, it was nice driving around in the air conditioner for a little while this is uh, my third shirt today so I was soaking wet so um, it's just so hot in Knoxville but anyway thanks for watching this video guys and uh, if this is the first time you're checking out the channel uh, please subscribe I would greatly appreciate it